Let's do it. We got Jonika, Maryland, 34 Leo, police officer. No kids, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, I want a leader. Like, I want a man that's able to lead and communicate. Like, I'm very simple, and my job is so demanding. So my therapist, yeah, I got a therapist. She tells me, like, <laughs> I have to be able to take my, my boots off, my duty belt, and put my heels on. So, like... I really need a man that can lead because I feel like there's times where I can be aggressive or I can be the leader and like like I'm I'm trying to get out of that. So that's what I need, a leader and a communicator. A leader and a communicator. What are your deal breakers? Um people that don't communicate, um, liars, and that's about it. Just non-communicators and liars. I'm very simple. Okay. What about a parent? Should he look a certain way? Um, I'm five seven, so I would like someone a little bit taller than me, maybe six feet. Um, I could do five eleven because that's taller than me as well. Um, I do like dark men, but I'm not picky, so you know I'm not gonna do the color thing. So no, he doesn't have to look a certain way. I'm into fitness, so I'm sorry, but yeah, maybe a fit guy. <laughs> Got to be a fit guy. Okay. What about money? Can you make a certain amount of money? No. No, we can build and grow together. So, no. I'm not about money. I take very good care of myself. So, I'm not I'm not going to be like, oh, I need for you to take care of me. Like, uh -uh. I'm good. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. Hold on. Let me step back. Okay. Can you see me? Yes. We can see you. Looks like you're in good shape. All right. Where we at here? Um, how old is she? Didn't catch it. Didn't catch, didn't catch how old she was, nor did I hear anything about kids. I don't think she got no kids. She coming all across like a woman with no kids. She she too light and too lighthearted, especially being law enforcement. <laughs> so I'm gonna say go. she ain't got no she ain't got no kids. I'm gonna say that. Uh correct, correct us here, chat. So she's 34. No kids. And here's the thing with this. Let's see. We, we talk about the occupational hazard of being in law enforcement and military. But here's the thing. All right. She said she wanted a man. And she cut. She said, look, I need a, I need a, she need a man. So you just got to go in there and be able to, <laughs> to dominate her. That's what, that's what they, she's saying. She's like, I'm a strong boy. I wear boots. My therapist, I need to take my boots off. I'm having a hard time. You got to come in and defeat her masculinity with your <laughs> ample amounts of masculinity and muscle mass. Otherwise, she's going to slam you. So know that too. Okay. So 34. I, I thought she was giving 40, but all right, here we go. Got to be up to the task. Yes. <laughs> so, Janika, do you want to be in Maryland? Um... I'm gonna say no because it sucks dating in the DMV. So I'm gonna say no. He doesn't have to be in Maryland. But you're a police officer, so would you relocate for love? I would. I live. I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from Chicago, and I moved from Chicago okay. to Miami, from Miami to Maryland. So I have no problem moving. Do you want? Can the guy have kids already? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. When was your last relationship? My last serious relationship was in 21, 2021. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? July of 2023. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, patience. I have to work on being patient because I can be very impatient. Um, I have to work on being on time because, like, I move very slow, so... I do take my time with a lot of things. I need to work on time. And um, I'm going to say listening. Like, I listen, but, like, I'm I'm really learning how to, like, really, like, hear what the person is saying and not speak, you know, react off emotions. So let me say that. So learning how to not react off my emotions. And I tell you what. Hell! There's been a lot of talk. See, somebody in the chat just said it about all this relocation talk. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's something that we rarely touch on, if ever. And it's 
lot lately, Kendra, will you relocate for love? What What do you mean? <laughs> you, you got sisters in every state. They all can't. What you gonna start shuffling them around? Yes, like, that's what's needed. That's the next step. The majority of the bone quiches say that the men in their city, state, or tri-state area are all garbage. So yeah, Kendra said, all right, I'm about to shuffle y'all around like the three-card Monty and see if we y'all can get some better results. Hence, will y'all relocate for love? <laughs> That's amazing. I see, like y'all were saying, all them six-figure men in D.C. Are we kidding? Listen here. This is the too masculine. She she want what she want. She want a select, strong alpha male that when she come in all masculine, she can't top his masculine. Do y'all not understand? The guy that she demanded can have dang near any woman he want. And why? That's what, why we ask y'all. Why would he choose her? Her. Why? And and she's a whole task. Man. And shout out to who's the master. Come through with the $5. We appreciate you, brother. He says, I would never trust a woman who work, works around men a lot. He huh. says, I guess that makes me insecure. No, it don't. No, it don't. See, no, it does not make you insecure. I promise you, I'm I'm secure to an ignorant level. It's just smart. Ain't just going to leave your woman around all these, all this testosterone, near near deletion experiences. That's going to get emotions and stuff wound up. Come on, don't play with it, <laughs> man. And shout out to my guy, Project Leroy says relocating equals running from her past traumas, perhaps. Yeah, like you said, try to go to another city and dump that on another man, it's over. Mm -hmm. Land your plane, all right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm fun and bubbly. Um, I say. Well, I'm not gonna say I take good care of myself, even though I do, but like I like to travel, so I don't know. Like, I'm just a fun person to be around. I'm very simple, I don't require too much. So, <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do it. We got Jonica, Maryland, 34. What's the age range you would think? Um, 35 to 45. 35 to 45. She is a police officer. She has no kids. Do you want children? I do. She does. All right, let's do it, boo. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. My name is Zeta Baby, Z-A-T-A-B-A-B-Y underscore fitness, F-I-T-N-E-S-S -S -S underscore. All right, boo. Keep me posted on what goes, girl. So there we go. For all the journalists out there, let us know what y'all see in that Instagram. We don't got her queued up. So if it's, you know, if it's public and it's something near, let us know as we closing out on her. But what I would say, what what makes a woman wants to want to be a, in law enforcement? Like I can't outside of like, all right, maybe if your dad or your grandfather, like it's something family related. But I don't know, man, just up, especially just. I don't know. Listen, I got. <laughs> No, it is what it is, man. And that's one thing I like about our culture. Like, I've got some friends that are in law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? Some at least got a couple of female acquaintances, and they are harder than most. You know what? That's just what it is. Like, it takes a special kind of woman to get in, when to get into an uh, occupation where she may have to wrestle men into submission <laughs> and cuff them. Come, come on with it. And man. a lot of them, a lot of them are ex-military as well. So you get a lot of these mm -hmm. women. Not only are they cops, but they are also ex-military. And it's like, man, that's a double whammy. There you go. Yeah. Like, there you go. What makes a woman want to get to become a police officer? If there's any in the chat, let us know. We don't know. We have a degree of ignorance too. We have no idea. But to us, oh, it comes. I mean, I'm sure it's some married wives that are cops. Yeah. I don't want all police to come in, but yes. Yeah. Then listen, I done seen it all. I done seen, you know, female cops get married, currently getting married. You know what I'm saying? Then seen, you know, ladies married to male cops. And then that male cop go ahead and get with one of the female cops. It's a lot. Law enforcement is a heck of a world. You know, I ain't going to get into it. I'm going to not go down rabbit holes. Project Leroy says many police officers sleep with their partners. And like I said, we got a whole little segment here. We're going to touch on it. Yeah, that part. 
It's listen. And who said that somebody in one of the ladies in the chat said, oh, y'all need to trust y'all partners. Don't be like that. Listen, it ain't got nothing to do with that. We are when we say, you know, they're going to sleep with their male partners. We are addressing primitive nature. That's y'all problem. Y'all like, oh, I love him. She loves, you know, all this love, love, lovey, dovey. You still have a primitive nature. Stop it. Stop. Y'all keep playing like, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. It ain't insecure. It's being logical, reasonable. And shout out to EJ Uno. Says, catch and release. Nah, I probably would say more like junior band, maybe. Yeah. But definitely not no catch and release. I, nah. No. Junior band work for show. Yeah, she, it's almost old. She about to be 40. This is just, you know, flesh wound before it's over. She need, she need to find a male cop that's, 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 you know, probably on SWAT, probably did some, did a, a tour in Desert Storm, you know, so he ain't that old, not too old. <laughs> and yeah, come on. I guess Desert Storm a long time from now, yeah. But you know what I mean. She need a hardened man. <laughs> so here we go, folks. You know, or maybe not. Maybe she don't need a hard man. Maybe she need a softer man. You know, there you go. Somebody to be take take the feminine place because she's the masculine. She's light, bubbly, masculine. <laughs> That part. So here we go. Hit the like button if y'all just coming in. 